Hi, everyone. Thank you for being here today. This is Aisha Sarvi, Head of Communications and Sustainability at Jazz. We're here with three special guests. We're here to talk about the celebration we had today, which is the second cohort of the NIC graduating. These are about 20 startups who have you know, graduated and are ready to sort of launch their products. Tell us what the government is doing to make sure that Pakistan's digital ecosystem is not restrictive, but enabling. We're a newly formed government. We're trying to create policies which were never there before. Um, and first and foremost, we need to fix our own house. This is the first time that the PM has given directives where he wants the entire government, all the ministries, all the departments to be running on e-governance. And uh, for that now, within the 100 days, the IT ministry is coming up with several plans. But one of the main ones is to going in towards e-governance. The 20 young startups that have graduated today, do you think they're at that level? Are they disruptors? Are they separatists? Do they have the ability to challenge status quo? A lot of the technology that we come across here in Pakistan today is not necessarily rocket science, OK? It's not breaking the frontiers of science in any shape or form. But what they are all doing is introducing technology to Pakistan, which hasn't been there before. Uh, and we are at a tremendous figure, 160 million people own a mobile phone somehow or the other. Would you think that this is a success where government and two private sector organizations come together and they're building something? Have you got adequate support from government? from private sector and from the academia as well? For me, obviously, I have a vested interest and a bias. Uh, but I think that if you take the feedback from the people who visited today and the people who have visited over the last couple of years, uh, we've had nothing but positive feedback. Through public-private partnerships, and if you have the right kind of environment where you can team up the right players, mm -hmm. you can create these kind of environments. It's really about you know getting down to are you following the SOPs? Are they, is there monitoring? Is there quality assurance, et cetera? Absolutely. And also access to the right kind of mentors. Uh, so for example, as Jazz is our partner, we have access to their mentors, their staff, their team members who have uh, in sometimes decades of experience behind them. So for example, you know, bureaucracy is a beast in every nation. It's very difficult to create change because it's large. Um, how are you training the people who are already there and who are unlikely to move? I think the government where it's going at the moment is that it's trying to take the policy of, of, uh, of merit. And also what we're doing is we're doing our, our public services policy, which is that we're trying to give them security. We are at 113 out of 127 in the innovation index, which is like really down there with a lot of war-torn countries. We're a pretty functional democracy. Why are we so low? We have an amazing talent. We have the skill sets. We just need to provide them the platforms and some changes in legislation, taxation, and so on, which I think will spur very, very rapid growth very quickly. What's the one thing that you would change uh, in this entire digital ecosystem? If you, if you had a magic wand and you're like, I'm going to change this. Policy making is very, very important. And this particular government, I will give them credit that they have already set up a task force. And I had to, to read the names on that task force. And that was very reassuring that they have people who are uh, experts and who have a proven track record and are apolitical as well. So I'm very optimistic that you know, we're moving in the right direction. And there are two factors, as far as I'm concerned, that makes them successful. One is that Pakistanis generally are creative and hardworking. But the second most important thing is that abroad gives them the ecosystem and the environment for them to maximize their hard work and talent. So what we're trying to do here, and the NIC is, an, is a kind of an oasis, is trying to create that same environment for them so that we can hopefully replicate those successes. What is the government doing, perhaps in your ministry, that something that you're introducing, or something that you have uh, direction from the Prime Minister, that it's okay to fail? It's okay to fail as long as you're creating change. By the grace of God, we have, I think, a Prime Minister for the first time where the overseas wants to get engaged and people want to come in and start new initiatives. Young people want to come in and start new uh, initiatives, new tech, uh, startups and everything. And I think they've, I personally feel, maybe I'm biased, but I feel they're more comfortable and more uh, enthusiastic about it now than ever. So we need to encash on that. Uh, Pervesa, your last words on, you know, um, things that you would definitely want the next uh, 2019 to be for NIC. What I would like to suggest to the government is to try to create that ecosystem and that environment to facilitate and you know, reduce that red tape, make it easier for people. Our domestic investors, are, are they happy in Pakistan? Because you know, everybody talks about bringing stuff in from mm -hmm. outside. Mm -hmm. There's no dearth of amazing entrepreneurship and yeah. money here. Yeah. Are they happy? 
any technology or any startup that you bring into Pakistan at the moment is going to have social impact. The ability to own a mobile phone itself created social impact. It changed the way people did business, it changed their lives. I think that's going to happen again, uh, inshallah, in the next couple of years. Zahir Saab, Parve Saab, Sophie Saab, thank you so much for being here today and on behalf of the 20 people who graduated today, congratulations on changing Pakistan for the better. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you.